This morning's rush hour incident happened right over there on westbound I-540, right at the bottom of the Leesville Road exit ramp. First, the black Ford passes a couple cars on the shoulder at high speed and cuts back into traffic, but then pulls back onto the shoulder right at the exit ramp to pass a truck, a truck that was trying to get off at that ramp. And then this morning, um, you know, due to the conditions, I went ahead and called the highway patrol and they said they'd alert troopers. The owner of the dash cam, a Wake County man who wishes to remain anonymous, says he first captured the shoulder pass maneuver back in early August, just days after he installed the camera. They passed, you know, pretty good rate of speed, maybe 20 miles an hour faster than I was going. So I saved the video and didn't really think much of it. A couple of months later on Halloween, he captured another shoulder pass. This time the car pulls back in across all three lanes of traffic, nearly cutting off a driver in the far left lane. That night, he compared the two videos. Went back and realized it was the same car. But it wasn't over. The dash cam owner says he caught the same car doing the same thing two more times in November. You know, if I've, if I've captured them five times, then I can't imagine how many times they've actually done this. He says he notified the highway patrol of the first four videos and called in today's incident. A highway patrol spokesman says the agency is grateful to drivers who send them videos of serious violations. That is something that we encourage them to send in to us so we can induct a sufficient investigation and actually we have made charges off of video footage given to the highway patrol in, in past instances. The owner of the dash cam says he thinks more can be done. I'd love to see more patrols out just to, to get this kind of behavior stopped before someone gets killed. Possibilities of injury or death are, you know, real high with a situation like this. He says he will continue to try to get this car on video in the hopes that the driver will eventually be caught. In Raleigh, Ed Crump, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.